Hello, freak bitches. Stephen Hawking was talking about the um, the possibility of alien life discovering us, mm -hmm. and that it would be a terrible, terrible thing if it did happen. If you look at what has happened to other primitive life forms when we've discovered them, primitive cultures when we've discovered them, do you share that same opinion? That if something did find us? Uh, I don't have a strong opinion on that question, but I have an analysis of his comment. Okay. He is worried about the possibility of aliens enslaving us oh. based on the reality that we've done that to ourselves. Yes. Just think about that. His fear of aliens derives not from actual knowledge of aliens, but from an actual knowledge of ourselves. Anytime a more advanced civilization has come upon a less technologically advanced civilization, it did not bode well for the less advanced civilization. And that happened in North America, South America, North America with, with Europeans, South America, the Spanish, uh, um, Australia with the, with the uh, Brits, uh, never boded well for the less technologically advanced civilization. His factual knowledge of that leads him to suspect that aliens would be exactly the same. And I, I'm not that skeptical. I don't think all life forms in the universe have the basal, uh, primal, violent attitudes that we do as a species. I've not been given reason to think so. But don't you believe that things advance because of competition and competition forces things to be fairly ruthless? It has been argued that if you colonize, if you're a civilization that colonizes the galaxy, that it's a self limiting exercise. Why? Because here you go. You ready? We start here on earth. It's you and me, boy. All right. And you take that planet. I take this planet. And now we have both have offspring that are just like us and we want more planets. All right. We reach a point where expansion is not possible because we are warring with ourselves to gain the territory that each other has obtained. So it has been argued sociologically that the very act of wanting to colonize is self-limiting against successful colonization of the galaxy. Because to colonize the galaxy it has to be done in an organized way. All right? You take this sector, I take this sector, but if I want territory and I want it now, and my kids want it now, I want that territory, not this other one. In fact, I want it all. That kind of attitude breeds... Violence it breeds war G in Intragalactic war So it may be that the very kind of civilization that could peacefully colonize a galaxy Is not the kind of civilization that would colonize the galaxy at all. Oof. That's heavy. Very heavy What about the idea that so any that's advanced? First, that's Go my ahead. first comment about okay. Stephen oh, you got another one? He's got he made another comment about we should be a multi-planet species what the hell to does protect that mean? ourselves against an asteroid rendering one uh, okay. extinct, it makes a good headline and it sounds like it makes sense, but I'm not, I'm not there with it. Yeah, of course I want to back up. Of course, let's be a multi-planet species. Fine, right, but but I I would do it for different reasons. I would do it because it's cool, not because I want to protect human uh, human species from extinction. No, that wouldn't be the reason to do it. Uh, can I tell you why? Please. List every reason why you think we go extinct. Uh, one, we trash Earth. Another, and we can't live off of it anymore. Uh, an asteroid is coming. There's some nanobot gone astray, okay? Pandemic. Pan uh, virus pandemic, okay. So, it seems to me that if we want to be a multi-planet species, Mars would be the one, because it's a 24-hour day. It's got... It's, Seasons we, we would have to terraform it first, but then we all move there. We just ship a billion people there. Here's my here's my point whatever it takes to terraform Mars and ship a billion people there It's got to be easier to deflect the asteroid <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to terraform Mars to turn it into earth If you had the power of geoengineering to do that then you have the power of geoengineering to turn Earth back into Earth. 
But there I'm occasionally there. are things that we miss, right? Because of the way that so so you so you say okay, whatever it takes to geoengineer Mars and ship a billion people there, it's got to be easier to create a perfect viral serum that makes us immune to all possible disease. It's got to be easier. Whatever that takes. But isn't it possible that there's some asteroids that we just will not see until it's too late? Then you put up whatever that takes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I mean, I, whatever. Uh, but they're talking Terraform about being Mars able to ship a billion people there. A billion. A, a bi why? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? We have seven. What are you going to put 10 people there? What? You, you want to split good. your species. Right. Okay. And if. An asteroid is coming that you can't deflect, which would surprise me if you could ship a billion people to Mars. You just let them all die? What? What is that? What you you plan to? You gonna let all the Earth people die and the Mars people survive just so you can save the species? Don't save everybody. I'm not buying into the premise, this cable carology premise, that you have to save one to not save the other, mm. and you, you know, you know, cable carology. You, I see what you're you, saying. The cable car, you, you, you know, someone's in the tracks. You let them go. You let them go. If you steer it out of the way, but then you actively kill two people instead of passively killing one person. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'm not buying into that premise for this question. I'm simply saying that whatever it takes. It's got to be easier to put up some kind of net that finds any asteroid that could possibly harm us and zaps them out of the sky. It's got to be easier. This is the last question. Is it, is it possible that the reason why we are never visited by extraterrestrials is because the way civilizations advance? because of the space advance. debris. <laughs> <laughs> One. But Two. Is, is it because the way they have civilizations... Visited, they have visited... They visited during Comic Con. Uh, <laughs> Nobody noticed. Okay, they don't like okay. cosplay. Three. <laughs> <laughs> We're out well, of here. Co their costumes weren't as good as ours. Okay. Three. 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 They've observed us and judged. There's no sign of intelligent life on Earth. Okay, but is there a, another possibility that civilizations don't ever get to travel like that? Because what happens is, as they advance and as their technology advances, they become instead of a biological entity seeking to spread its genetics th throughout the universe, they become some sort of symbiotic artificial life. That as they create, as they advance their technology, and as they continue to innovate, they reach a limitation in biology, and then eventually create artificial life that sees no desire whatsoever to travel. Oh, interesting. So I would say, uh, that's a great philosophical question. I would say that... The day we create AI, if the AI is everything we are except more, and not emotional, then and not it foolish. would have an urge to explore. Maybe. Otherwise, it's, then it's not us. But wouldn't it create well, those doors like in Monsters Inc. and start going dimension to dimension <laughs> instead of fucking around with jets? And <laughs> with one chemical G jets. And, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, they figure out the fourth dimension. Yeah, wouldn't that be the best way to do things? And then they figure it out, and then they would figure out a way to travel better than any way we could. But if the fact that we want to travel, and we're creating versions of ourselves called AI, I don't but see why, it, would it be I, a I don't see why ourself? AI wouldn't want to travel. But why would it be curious? If AI If it is us, if it's this not is my biological. Point. If then it's not well, if we create every neurosynaptic mo um, m map right of our brain into silicon, into a computer and recreate our consciousness as humans. The human brain. But wouldn't that the be human just brain one version of AI? Wouldn't sure. there be like an infinite version of AI that sure. AI could create itself? It could. And why would it limit itself to all of our emotions and sexual desires and jealousy and all the ridiculous things that are holding us back? It could. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Now, I'm not as fearsome of AI as others are. Uh, I, I, you know, we, we're, we're not going to make an AI looking human being because the human form is not the best or ideal form for anything. Did you see Ex Machina? Yes, did I did. Did you love it? <laughs> did you love it? It was good. It was good. You had didn't some, love some it? Good moments. Had... You didn't love it? No, it was, it was good. I loved it. Oh. <laughs> I want to marry it. You want to marry it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's the, yeah, the first thing you use. You, yeah, it's, it's, it's the sex bot. It's it's one one my, the first no, thing. it's not even that. That's, it's where, one the, that's where the money movies. will be for sure. For sure. Right. Yeah, for sure. But I'm just saying it's one of my favorite movies. I want to marry the movie. It's just 
awesome movie. So then marriage would no longer be about sex or just be about reproduction because you just go to your room with well, your sex people, bot. I'm hoping that that's one of the first things that people figure out they shouldn't do anymore. Well, Once I, they get smart enough to symbiotically attach themselves to artificial intelligence. I was watching, what was it, Family Feud? One of the mm -hmm. questions was, uh, if you're... <laughs> We asked 100 married women, if you could have a second husband for only one purpose, what would it be? Something like 70% of them said, just for sex. Whoa. Damn. Uh, a That's second harsh. husband for only one purpose. Just just for getting stuffed. Just, That's rough. Just sex. That's, so a, th that's a fucking wake-up call for a lot of dudes <laughs> out there. <laughs> a lot of guys. <laughs> Let's end on that. <laughs>